Well, hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot, and this is your daily reading for Thursday, September 30th, 2021. If you are new to my channel, hello to you. Welcome in, and if you're returning, welcome back. Very nice to see you all again. So let's get right into your reading. I am, woo, thank you very much, back at home now. So after a very long drive, a white knuckle drive actually through some very stormy mountain passes. So anyways, but all home in one piece. So that's always good. So let's see what we've got coming out for you today. All right, first cut first out, we have gratitude. And this card is inviting you to show gratitude in some area of your life today for something big, something small. Uh, it could just be show gratitude for the universe for all of the blessings that you have, right? Even if you don't have everything that you are looking for, everything that you're manifesting into your life when we are in the energy of being thankful and being grateful for all of the things that we have or have had or even the challenges that we've been through in our life we allow more positivity to flow in all right there may also be somebody in your life today that you need to give thanks to you need to show gratitude for do you have a coworker that uh, helps you out a lot do you say thank you do you show your appreciation in some way right is there someone at home do you have a spouse at home when's the last time you looked your spouse in the eye and said thank you for everything that you do right so that gratitude energy is just really highlighting some area in your life whether it's to spirit to the universe to a friend a family member a co-worker where you can give thanks and gratitude and it has been proven over and over and over again when we live a grateful and thankful life, we actually live a happier, more prosperous, more abundant life. And yes, usually in uh, retrospection, okay, usually when we look back and we reflect on something that has been challenging in our life, we can actually find the blessings and the beauty even that comes out of challenges, right? Not typically, not typically when we're going through something um, difficult, right? But sometimes there's the challenges, there's those blessings things in disguise, right? So gratitude. But we also have trust and this card is represented by the beautiful stag. And the stag represents trust, fertility. Uh, it's a very, uh, very healing, um, uh, very healing spirit animal in a number of cultures. But when we've got the trust card, this is first and foremost, trusting yourself in a situation. Okay. Trusting yourself to make the right decision, to, uh, make the right choices. Um, trust in your ability to, uh, move forward with what you want to move forward with. Okay. Or to make changes if you may need to make changes trust your intuition as well. All right. But there may also be somebody that is around you today that you may actually need to have a little bit of trust and faith in them as well. Uh, it, did someone promise to help you um, with something in some way, right? Is there someone on the home front? Is there a friend, a coworker, a family member, right? So trust is really highlighted for you today, whether it is trusting yourself or trusting others. There may also be, uh, there's a little bit of a karmic lesson that comes out with this particular card as well. And sometimes our inability to trust in others is a bit of a karmic situation and it quite often goes back to some past experiences. So this may be highlighting that for you today uh, if you have something that you either need to work through or that you have been working through from a past experience. Because when we are able to trust, trust is a fickle thing, right? It takes a long time to really build up some trust in an instant to shatter it. All right. So, but ultimately, you know, if we let our past experiences, um, completely destroy our ability to trust in other people or even ourselves, then we're down a slippery slope. So there may be an opportunity there to get a little bit of healing, especially with the stag represented in that card. So uh, talk to your spirit guides, your angels, um, you know, and have a look and see how you can repair your ability to trust uh, again, not just yourself, but also other people, but it starts actually with trusting yourself, right? Because trust your judgment, 
right? Just trust your ability to, you know, uh, to discern situations, right? So again, trust is just a really fickle kind of energy. So let's see what we've got for you guys today. Let's pull your tarot. This is a deck I don't actually use very, very often at all. For one, it's very expensive. Um, so I don't want to damage it in any way. Um, but it's also really, really big. <laughs> so it's a little bit tricky to shuffle. Anyway, so let's see what we've got here for you. And I do need to look at them a little bit because the imagery is very different. So we've got the Five of Wands. All right. We also have uh, the... I'm going to have to look at that one in a second, and I'm just going to pull all of your cards. So we've got a few different wands uh, coming out here for you guys today. So which one is that? Oh, I know. It's the Magician. There we go. All right. So we have the Magician, and we have the Nine of Wands coming out here as well. All right. So there may be a situation that you're dealing with today where there's a little bit of drama, a little bit of conflict. The five of wands is that uh, is that energy of being conflicted in some way. <clears throat> and this could be within you. This could be externally. Possibly something in your office. Right, the Five of Wands quite often does represent a little bit of drama or competition. So you may actually be competing with somebody else, okay, for a prize, right? Keeping your eye on the prize somewhere. Maybe you've got a promotion that's up for grabs. Um, do you have, uh, are you looking for a job maybe, right? Are you looking for a new love? The Five of Wands quite often does come out for me as um, online job searches, Right, so a lot of people competing in the same arena for the same common goal, right? You're looking for love, you're looking for a job, right? Any of those kind of things. So the Five of Wands quite often does come out in regards to that as well. But it can sometimes also represent, uh, for me, a little bit of a kind of climbing the corporate ladder card. Maybe you've got a project that you're working on in your workplace and you've got a whole bunch of people coming together and everybody has a whole bunch of different personalities right? And uh, you've all got different ideas to put on the table. And there may be uh, an opportunity there or a need, okay, to kind of sort everything out a little bit, okay? It's like, uh, you know, when you get a group of people all sitting in, uh, sitting in the same room and brainstorming, but sometimes that brainstorming gets a little bit out of hand because everybody wants to be heard. So that five of wands shows that there may be a need there to get a little bit of a sense of order. But the five of wands also brings in energy because it does represent physical activity of some kind as well. So, you know, so this may be a call or this may be uh, a reminder to get moving in some way. It quite often does represent um, like a group sports activities, right? So, um, you know, you know, going out on the soccer field or something or, um, you know, uh, what other what other group activities are there? I don't know, baseball, uh, going to the gym. OK, so there may be a call there and need to get your body moving, right? Get the blood pumping. And, uh, you know, quite often when we do that, we actually feel better. Right. It's like it's like, you know, they the saying that, uh, you know, if you're if you go to the gym, getting there is like half the battle. Honestly, getting there is like 80 percent of the battle, you know, because you can make every excuse in the book along the way. Oh, I can't find my towel. Oh, I can't go. Oh, I can't find my water bottle. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll go tomorrow, right? So there's a million excuses that you can make along the way, but there may be a call there uh, to get your body moving and uh, to be physically active in some way. All right, but we do have the magician that comes here as well, and I had to do. I had to quickly uh, check that one for. Um, I had to just think about that one for a second. Um, this deck is a little bit different than uh, than others. It's actually from the Italian Renaissance, so it's really beautiful, and it is very uh, the imagery in it is very very old. So it's actually uh, replicated from a museum. So, anyways, it's really it's really beautiful. So, but this card is the magician. So this is really highlighting your day. 
Okay, this is giving you the resources, the focus, the ability to get things done. Okay, it shows that you have all of the resources and tools that you need to move forward with something. So whether this is just to, you know, maybe you're leading a project, okay? Maybe you're the one that has to herd the cats in the boardroom and try and get everybody on the same page, okay? Or try and get everybody uh, respecting everyone else's um, uh, need and right to speak, right? You know, you get a lot of people all, you know, flapping their gums all at the same time and it's like herding cats, trying to get them all to shut up and trying to get them all to speak one at a time in an orderly fashion. So you may be the lucky duck that actually has to do that and that has to try and corral everybody and get their thoughts in order. However, with the magician there, it shows that you have the resources to do that, okay? You might not want to do it, okay? But you can certainly get that done because the magician gives you that focus and the organizational skills to do that as well. The magician also is bringing you in, of course, manifestation energy. Okay, so if you are in a situation, the five of wands, right, where you're looking for something, you're searching for something, you're competing for something, okay, the magician shows your ability to achieve your goal. Um, so whether you are looking for that new job, that promotion, that new love, um, improvements in your life, okay, trying to extract yourself or figure out how to diffuse a situation that has a lot of drama associated with it, that magician is that wonderful energy that gives you that focus. Okay, what you need to get the job done today. All right. But on a manifestation level, the, you know, the magician always brings in that reminder. What you think about, you bring about. Thoughts become things. If you are on a manifestation journey, we are always actively manifesting every single day of our lives, whether we realize it or not. And so this is that reminder, okay, to live in grace and gratitude, to be thankful for even challenges or difficulties that you may have been going through or that you have been going through. Because ultimately the magician is your trump card out of what we've got here for you today because we also have the nine of wands, right? But the five of wands, the nine of wands is totally trumped by that magician. That is the overruling, overarching energy that is coming here today. So trust in your ability to get something done. Trust in your ability to lead the pack. Trust in your ability to stand out in the crowd, make changes, get something done, articulate yourself in a good way, right? Lead people, whatever that happens to be for you, okay? When we live in that energy of trust, of gratitude, right? We actually are a manifestation master and we can really get something done, whether this is on a small daily level or whether this is the bigger picture that you are looking to make improvements on in your life, things are getting better. All right, but we do have the nine of wands first. Now the nine of wands does show a need to uh, take a little bit of a step back. Okay, the nine of wands is one of putting up a little bit of a boundary, um, putting up a, a little bit of a, not necessarily a wall. We don't want to put up walls because walls keep out the good and the bad. Boundaries are good. Healthy boundaries are good. But the nine of wands is known as the wounded warrior energy. And it just shows that there may be some difficulties and challenges that you're dealing with today, okay? And there may be a need to um, put up some healthy boundaries in some area, especially if you've got like some infighting wherever you happen to be. Uh, you've got someone around you that may be causing a little bit of drama, or maybe you just need to take a break, right? You're going through your day, you're getting things done, and the end of the day, that nine of swords, you, you're sorry, the nine of wands, you feel as though you've been through one hell of a battle, and you may need to take a little bit of a load off, take a break. Maybe you overdo it at the gym, okay? The nine of wands does show a need to take a little bit of a time out, a little bit of a pause, all right? And it could could just be that you have an exhausting day all right but again that magician gives you the energy to get through it okay to get things done but this may be the nine of uh, wands may be really just showing that you know towards the end of the day or even spilling into tomorrow you 
might need to take a little bit of a time out for yourself, right? And, you know, extract yourself from a situation that is maybe energetically draining you in some way, right? You might need to protect yourself because the Nine of Wands quite often does show the need to protect yourself a little bit in some way, protect your energy, uh, not get dragged into something that you don't want to be dragged into, right? But again, it can be that one as well of taking care of yourself. All right, so... Um, again, the magician is your really your overall ruling energy for the day ahead. So not a bad one, eh? So let's just get a little bit more information here about each one of these. So five of wands, more details for the five of wands, please. Thank you. We have the moon and we have the tower. So some of you with the moon and the tower coming up here with the five of wands, the moon, uh, the moon is first and foremost really about your reputation, your recognition, how people see you. And with the tower here and with this clarifying the five of wands, the tower uh, can be something that you've been dealing with for a long time. But the tower card is a work card and it can represent a corporate Operation. Okay, and it could be that you are trying to improve your reputation um, where you work, okay, or there may be some sort of uh, some sort of difficulties in getting recognized for your accomplishments, right? Are you waiting for some sort of reward, some accolade, right? The five of wands, again, you may be you may be feeling as though you're in competition for something. And with the, the moon and the tower, it feels as though either you are fighting to be recognized for the work that you do, okay? Or you are about to get recognized and rewarded for all of the work that you do. The five of wands can be um, either way. It can be that challenge, okay? But it can also be change. So uh, you can take that as either one, right? So that may, but we can also incorporate it into one. It may have been a challenge or an uphill battle to get recognized for all of your good work, for your uh, dedication, and, you know, to get the rewards that you uh, deserve that you're looking for. All right. So if you are looking for a job as well, um, the moon can also represent uh, like a psychic imprint an impression. Um, it can also represent the moon cycles. Right. And, um, you know, and also your dreams. So with the tower there, the tower is uh, something very solid, very sturdy. Okay, but can represent a larger company corporation. So um, perhaps some of you are really putting yourself out there um, to follow your dreams and to get something that gives you some long-term stability, right? You may be absolutely looking for your dream job, right? Dream job. So let's have a look at the magician and see what else is there. Messages for the magician. And we have the clover and we have the cross. So the cross is uh, at its core a negative card. Okay, it does represent, um, uh, it represents burdens, it represents pain, grief, uh, sorrow. It can also just represent um, a heavy workload. And with the clover here, the clover gives you a little bit of a, a little bit of luck, a little bit of opportunity as well. Okay, so it feels like with the magician, you may have a little bit of luck on your side. Okay, to either get through a heavy workload, um, get through everything that's bogging you down today. Okay, and uh, and uh, you may also the. Uh, the cross card can also sometimes represent um, believing in something, okay? And with the magician there, that is a reminder there that luck is on your side, okay? And you need to believe in your abilities to get things done, to move forward with something, to accomplish something, to manifest something there because that cross can quite uh, often represent a karmic situation as well. And what did we already say with that trust card? There may be a karmic situation someone's dealing with but that clover comes in there to bring you um, a little bit of luck and a lot of positivity to get over something that may be a little bit of a challenge or to make those positive improvements so let's have a look at the nine of wands and we have the lady and we also have whoops 
and we also have the ring. So the lady, uh, the lady in this card, this can represent you, okay, or it can represent someone close to you, all right? It will only represent you or someone close to you, nobody else, okay? So um, if this is resonating as a work read for you today, uh, this could be you making a lot of promises and commitments, all right, and may, really trying to get through them today. You will get through them, okay, but you might have a lot of them, okay, to get through. All right, this can also be somebody that has promised you something, okay? The ring represents commitments, contracts. It also represents completion of something, okay? And it just feels like here, if this is you with the lady card coming up in man or lady, Lady, okay, significator was really what it represents. Okay, and that would be you. If that is you, you are going to accomplish whatever you set out to accomplish today. Okay, but again, by the end of the day, you might be feeling a little bit energetically drained. So um, the tarot, a tarot tells you you might need to take a little bit of a time out for yourself. Okay, or protect your energy in some way. Okay, there could also be somebody in your life that has promised to do something. And you may need to take that little step back and pause for a minute there and trust that they will come through on their commitments. Okay, someone at home, maybe this is your spouse quite often. The man and lady cards in this deck, they do represent quite often the significator and your partner. Okay, um, but if it's a work uh, if it's a work situation, it'd be like a work husband or a work wife or something. Okay. So, uh, it could be your, uh, someone that you work with. Okay. That promises to do something or they commit to do something. Okay. And you need to take that step back and not micromanage the situation. And you need to trust that they will come through on their promises. Okay. So whether that's you getting things done, okay. Or whether that is somebody else, but it also feels with the ring here that there may actually be some sort of uh, some sort of contract or commitment that is headed your way as well so this whether this is a commitment that you make to yourself a promise you make to yourself it could be as something simple in a daily as promising to go to the gym every single day okay um, the tower card over here can represent you know like uh, you know like a business or a building all right and that could represent you know you going to the gym and you are Try, uh, you are making those promises. It's like, yeah, I have a dream to get in shape and you're trying to get it done and you're going to honor your commitments throughout the day. Okay. So, you know, you might be again doing that, but there may also be some other contract or commitment that is coming to you, but you might still be waiting for it a little bit. But if you're manifesting something, all right, this shows that there is a need to take a step back and trust that things are happening in the background, right? Especially with the moon over here, the moon is a cycle card. Okay. And with the magician there as well. Okay. So you need to trust in the process and not try and micromanage the universe. I'm going to leave that there for you guys. Uh, I think that went a little bit long, but anyway, I'm going to leave that there. I hope there was something in this reading that resonated with you in some way. If there was, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you guys have a great day. I thank you for watching and I will see you later. Bye.